Hi, and welcome back for another quick tarot with Salon. Today I'm going to use Morgan Greer Tarot, which is a pretty popular tarot deck, um, as you can see behind me. So a couple of the cards from, um, from the Morgan Greer. So uh, did a little bit of meditation and calming earlier. So we're going to do a weekly reading like we did last week. And I am going to shuffle a little bit and see what the cards are telling us. So I am actually going to copy the same format um, that I did last week, which is pulling a major arcana card to get the general theme of the week, and then a couple of pip cards, which will kind of help us decide some of the things that we can focus on for the rest of the week to help it go a little bit better and make sure things stay in place. So a couple more shuffles. You can obviously tell there's some green on my shirt because my green screen is showing through. <laughs> That's so neat. Anyway, you just have to ignore that. All right, so let's go ahead and start with our major arcana card. Now let's see what we get. What is this week going to be about? So we have the Hierophant for our major arcana. It is... Uh, for those that are interested, card number five in this deck. And let's see what else we're going to get. We've got the seven of swords. That is not a good sign. We've got the nine of pentacles and the five of wands. So we've got a good mix. So this week, even though we have a grand theme, the way to work through that is going to be a well-rounded work through. So let's start with the Hierophant. The Hierophant is going to give us some guidance this week and is going to tell us you might want to do some spiritual journeying. You might want to get up tomorrow and be thankful, be grateful, pay attention to the themes and the ideas that are around you that you're working on. The Hierophant likes some organization likes some uh, thought and consideration in the things that you're doing. So the theme for the week is pay attention. Look at what is around you, absorb it, and use it. We move on to the Seven of Swords. Um, and the Seven of Swords is, well, quite an interesting card. So often, seven cards represent things that are difficult or hard to work through. And in this case, there may be somebody talking about you. There may be somebody saying something behind your back or giving you ill will or taking things from you. Sometimes the uh, Seven of Swords represents that somebody is taking an idea of yours and using it for their own. So what does that tell us to do? Again, Hierophant says pay attention. Um, and if you see or know who this person is, let it go. Move on, stick to your yourself, and process the things that you're working on. And whatever the idea is or whatever is being stolen from you, um, it's, it's replaceable. Then we get the Nine of Pentacles, which to me is a really good thing um, because it says that whatever this is, it's not going to negatively affect you. So we need to pay attention to the things going on around us in some way that might be trying to do us some harm um, but whatever they're doing isn't going to have any long-term effect. The Nine of Pentacles represents being towards the end of a uh, master craft or being proud of an accomplishment or still achieving something. So this week, what you're working on, you're not going to necessarily finish it, but you are going to be towards the end and you're going to be happy with the work that you're doing. If you're not, you may want to look for the person who's kind of siphoning out your water on the other end. Finally, we end with the Five of Wands, and the Five of Wands is a teamwork card for me. So this is going to involve working in a team and working comfortably. So um, if you aren't currently working in a team, you might want to look at who is around you and see what benefit you can gain um, from including input from people you may not otherwise include input from. Um, you know, it's important that when we look at what the tarot is trying to tell us or what the universe is trying to tell us through the tarot, 
that we pay attention to the small things. The hierophant, again, is really saying to, to look at what's around you, follow the process, follow the doctrine. It does have a spiritual aspect to it as well. So you might want to kind of pay attention maybe to your spirituality this week, and that will give you some additional benefit. Um, watch out for somebody who's stealing from you, whether it's something physical or mental or um, emotional, and stop giving it to them to steal. Regardless of that siphoning, there is going to be a positive outcome. You're going to be proud of what you're working on, and it's not a permanent um, deficit from that, that thievery. And then make sure that you include teamwork. Make sure that you're working with a group of people um, that are, um, are offering things, um, towards the, um, what, what, what should I say? Make sure to work with a team of people that have input to help guide you and that you're listening to that input. And so that's um, the reading for this week. So if you have any comments or questions, please write them below. Um, as always, my style of tarot is intuitive. Some traditional meanings are included, but not always. While I do understand the traditional meanings of the tarot cards, sometimes they say something a little bit different to me. So... Um, again, comment, like, post, discussion, whatever um, you do, but please come back to see another one. Thank you.